Um, let's do 11 once more. Number 11. It's the big cigar. So, Mr. Young, two years ago you won the prestigious Jean Zibelius violin competition. How did it change your life? I have a career now in, in, in Europe and, you know, elsewhere. I think the competition gave me very good exposure to the public and to presenters. And I got a management that I work with and I got calls from presenters all over the world. Really, I, I don't know how the, the two years uh, passed by. I, I had a lot of concerts, I met wonderful musicians and I have a, a new instrument uh, that I got through the competition. That, yeah, my life changed a lot and I, I think it's, uh, I'm very thankful because this doesn't happen with every competition. Winning a competition doesn't guarantee you anything in our time. Um, but I think through this competition I, I got some really nice relationships and things really moved uh, in the right direction for me. And I'm happy about where I am. And you have been performing in Finland quite a lot since then. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be back again? It feels great. I, I feel very comfortable. I think I have played with all, um, almost every major Finnish orchestra by now. And I think this is my ninth or tenth time in Finland after the competition. And I'm getting more used to how people speak and you know, what are their tendencies when they play music. Um, and um, yeah, n not not just um, you know music of Sibelius, but I, I've had the chance to work uh, on many different repertoire with different orchestras here, and um, it's always a joy. And I think I still have a lot to learn about you know the the country and the people, and I'm looking forward to having long-term relationship you know, with ensembles and orchestras here uh, so that we can, we can explore different repertoire uh, each time and, and, and really have a, a long-lasting, you know, partnership and, and not just a one-time thing, you know, that, that's my goal. Hmm. This time you are playing the first concerto by Sergei Prokofiev. How would you describe that work? This concerto, um, is for me like a, like a like a fairy tale, like a Russian fairy tale, you know. Um, it's very descriptive. The music is very descriptive. I see a lot of uh, images when I play this concerto. In the second movement, for example, all these very quick gestures and contrasting, you know, moods. It, it's all very picturesque for me. And, and it's incredibly beautiful. You know, I, I think by the time we arrived at the end of the last movement, when the theme returns, I have this incredible feeling of gratitude and, and, and tranquility, you know, that I cannot find in any other piece. It has a, a lot of different colors and textures and, um, you know, beautiful melodies to offer. The structure is not conventional and the, the music kind of jumps around a lot, but I think um, it's, it's one of the more fun and satisfying uh, violin concertos for me.